All right, Steve Leisman has the ADP uh, payroll report. Steve. Joe, 2.37 million, just a touch shy of expectations. ADP reporting that uh, June payrolls, private payrolls, rose by 2.37 million. And of course, they revised upwards the May employment report, which is crazy. Well, they do this all the time. Uh, they, they're now saying it was a gain of 3 million compared to their original forecast loss of 2 million. Remember, ADP was among the closest ones to sort of point you to an upside surprise. They were still way negative. And th this is what's going on in a job market where the numbers are literally swinging by millions. The good sector uh, for the month of June rising by about about half a million service sector, about two million. And there's the non-farm payroll report, government plus private sector uh, expected to rise uh, tomorrow by 2.9 million. Looking at jobs by size, you had good job growth, especially on the small business side, 937,000, medium business 559 and large also doing well up 873,000. The sector data also tells a reasonably good story, up nearly a million leisure hospitality, strong growth in construction, trade and transport, education, health services, uh, and professional business services, all on the plus side. Now, put that aside for a second, because I want to point your attention to another indicator that did a good job of pointing to the positive side in May, and that was the home base. They uh, do, uh, they uh, Payrolls for 60 million, or sorry, 60,000 uh, small business companies and uh, cover a million workers. Now they're saying the pace of improvement was slower in June than it was in May. So the jobs report may actually fall short of expectations. And they're also noting, uh, Andrew, that uh, the uh, recent uh, round of infections and perhaps additional small business closings may not be picked up in this June report. So a lot going on, a lot of cross currents in the jobs market, but ADP looking for 2.4 million, home base looking for something perhaps of a disappointment. When you do your your model, you're going to do a model this afternoon, Steve, for tomorrow? I, 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 I don't know, Andrew, because I don't think any of the things that go into my model work. I ran it a couple times before. Uh, it's not doing a good job. I need new inputs to my model, Andrew, and I might spend some time to try to find them, honestly. I'm going to try to use the home base what, data. I'm going to try to use some of so the Just so we Yelp know, what, what are the data. missing inputs in the lease? What's... What are the inputs missing in the, lease, the well, new Leaseman model? Hiring. We have no hiring. We have, we have good, reasonably good data on firing. I cannot square, Andrew, the huge number of jobless claims we're getting. One and a half million, an expected tomorrow of 1.3 million. I've got this massive data on firing, and there has to be, you right. have to offset hiring as much plus to get to the positive numbers. I don't have uh, really uh, concurrent data or, or high frequency data on hiring that's going on in the economy. It's all, I'm amazed that the economists have done as well as they've done, even being within the ballpark, given the gaps we have right. in what's happening in this economy right now.